Mike Golick Jr. on what he sees as the potential for the 2023 Browns. Again, this from the Mina Kimes show. That division is going to be incredibly hyper competitive. We've talked about, you know, the roster they've built up around the offense, some of the changes they're going to absorb this year and trying to cater to what Deshaun Watson wants to do. Defensively, they decided to try and bring in a bunch of big old boys in the middle to try and help them from being atrocious against the run like they were last year. Uh, my man Jeremiah Usu Koromoa is wearing a single digit number now, so uh, the league is on notice. That's a terrifying Zero. force. Uh, he's six, so uh, went from 28. 28 to six, which huge jump up in quality there. Uh, love to see that for him personally. But uh, and listen, I know this is all a bet on can Deshaun Watson regain form. We haven't seen a lot of indicators that that's going to be the case. That is my chief worry here. But there are so many other parts of this roster that if the quarterback gets back to being an above average top half of the league, and you know, I know that's you know a difficult conversation for a lot of reasons, but from a purely football standpoint, if that happens, I think this roster can actually, to your point, win a playoff game. Tom, what about it? How good does Deshaun Watson have to be? I, people who have watched the show probably are sick of hearing what I have to think. So how good do you think Deshaun Watson has to be for the Browns to be a playoff team? I think for Watson... I, I would aim to be in that top 12, top 10 uh, of the NFL in, in passing um, as a quarterback. I think that's going to be important for him. I mean, you can't – he just – he didn't show it last year, right? Like I said, more of an outlier year it felt like than anything. I don't think he needs to be that top three like he was the last year that we saw him in Houston. But showing more towards that top 10 range um, could definitely – boost them enough to make it into the playoffs and win some of these tough division games, which is going to be more important than anything, because like we've been talking about, the AFC North is stacked and, and it, none of those games are going to be easy. So stealing, you know, three to four of those games on the year and winning those winnable games that they have on their schedule could make all the difference in the world. So he does get into that top five range. What does that do for the for the Browns and for this uh, for this team? I mean, that's massive, right? Now you all of a sudden you have a top five quarterback, you have a top five running back. You got a really good receiving core with with Amari Cooper and, and Elijah Moore. If he can become something, one of the best offensive lines in the league, Miles Garrett, arguably the best edge defender in the league with some really good talent on that defense. Now we're talking about winning playoff games, right? Because that 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 makes all the difference in the world with the talent around him. The quarterback position is just so crucial. You have to, you know, to win playoff games and to make it far in the in the playoffs you need everything clicking and it starts at the quarterback position so that would be that would be um, massive for them obviously